can signal tone. Don't worry. Right? I oh. can't see I can't see you now. Now I see you. Yeah. We're we will have to crop this. I would like to welcome Anne and Shane, who is going to tell us a little bit about themselves this evening. And uh, Anne, you are a Reiki healer? I'm a Reiki uh, master teacher. Um, I also do mediumship. Um, I work with Shane. Uh, I teach quite a lot of students different things regarding learning meditation to teach groups. Uh, teaching them Reiki, taking them all the, the way through to teacher level with Reiki. Different forms of healing through meditation, like a trance meditation healing area as well that uh, my meditation skills have taken me into recently. So that's mm -hmm. another sort of addition to the toolkit, really, that you add something else as you grow and develop things become easier for you don't they as you develop and move forward um, and that it sort of helps people in a different healing way if you like than Reiki they can sit I can take them into quite a deep journey of meditation it's a bit like the what people would term a shamanic healing in a way but using meditation skills in order to get them into a different a very calm and relaxed state so that they can release whatever they need to release for yes. healing yes i believe in that as well um yeah. how, did it, how did you begin with this um well with reiki started a number of years ago when i was having a bit of a bad time mentally my mental health was a bit low and um, i ended up going for some treatments with somebody um, after the treatments, um, I really wanted to learn it. I connected with the energy. It made me feel better, more or less, straight away. Um, so I learned it, carried on moving forward, left my job in the NHS. Uh, I worked there as a diabetic eye screener for 10 years. And five years previously, I worked as um, in admin, in an admin role. So a big, big change for, for me, really. But I sort of began to see when I worked in the NHS how many people w were struggling with mental health issues, but were also struggling with physical issues in that they were taking a lot of medication, but they didn't necessarily know why they were taking it. Um, and I, I just felt there was something else that they, it needed to be the spirit that was being healed as well as the the physical pain if you like mm. so that sort of put me on on the reiki path and from the reiki path that's opened me up into learning to teach meditation um learning more and more about mediumship um trans mediumship working with shane all sorts of different different avenues that um it's just amazing the, the journey, really, that we all learn so much as we uh, let go and embrace it, embrace everything that we are, really. Yeah, that's... Um, but uh, do you have courses or...? Yeah, that... yeah, I run, I run uh, some uh, verified Reiki courses, which are a diploma level, for people that want to get into healthcare settings, shall we say, into the NHS. Um, I also run different courses for mediumship along with train. We, uh, along with Shane, we do, we co-create courses for that. Um, spiritual artwork, which you can probably see behind me, that, yes. has, oh, yeah. Yeah, that has suddenly developed within me um which certainly wasn't there when i was at school let, let me tell you it's no. appeared um and absolutely love it it's so mindful and it's so creative um doesn't have to mean anything to anybody else as long as you get that calm feeling out of it and that benefit from it so um, th things are just branching out in a lot of different ways for both of us really aren't they i would yeah. think about the art where do you think that comes from if you first come 
paint and then suddenly you can start pain? Yeah, <laughs> well, um, definitely not from this lifetime. So I would say I've always had that skill and I've brought that with me, but it's taken my spiritual development to reconnect with that element of, of myself. I've always I've always had a love of, of France. I've always had a love of bright colours, of um, trailing my husband round galleries when we go when we go on holiday, you know, when he'd rather be fishing <laughs> or, or sunbathing. But um it it's just always been there, I think. Yeah, definitely. And it, it just felt right when I started doing it. it. It seems like a lot of mediums suddenly start to paint, isn't it so? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you, you're opening that creative flow within you, aren't you? When you're um, opening up to that self-awareness within, it's mm. a, a great um, opportunity to connect with everything that you've ever been, really. We've mm. all got a lot of hidden skills and talents, haven't we, that we tend to hold down deep within yeah. us. So I, the spiritual development helps to bring all those elements out. Mm. Maybe school takes it from us in some kind of way. I, well, yeah, I, th I think for me personally, and I, I know Shane struggled with it as well, For at school, for me, I was I was good at certain elements like English and history, um, mm -hmm. sport, but it, it didn't really. I think the authority of it, um, the structure of it, I didn't appreciate it at all. Really, if if I could get away with not being there, I, I would do, um, mm -hmm. because it didn't hold my interest at all. Um, I didn't feel I got an awful lot from it. Um, and I think this is what they need to change with a lot of children now that they need to nurture their creativity, their yeah. skills. And yeah. they're all unique, aren't they? You know, learning things parrot fashion just doesn't work anymore, does it? We've, no. we've got to be a bit smarter with that and let them grow their own unique gifts, really, haven't we? Yeah, it's, uh, but it's difficult to change. Yeah, but change is always possible, isn't it? We've got to believe change yeah. is possible and keep chipping away at it, really. <laughs> uh, when I was um, writing to you before when we were going to have this meeting, um, I got a very uh, good uh, feeling around you. I felt good, really. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and when I became sick, if you remember that, with my, you uh, yeah. had a very good answer, like, it's timing. Yeah, you know? yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah. It's always about divine timing, everything. Yeah. yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. Yeah, but we, we were meant to meet, and uh, we're both feeling that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we've meet and uh, been meeting in past lives. <laughs> you never yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, I would think I would think so. Yeah, there's there's always a certain connection there, isn't there? Yeah, um, between people where you think, actually, I'm sure I know that person. The same happened with Shane and myself. Yeah, because um, yeah. it was Shane's wife that came to see me at a mind body spirit fair. Um, quite a while now, and she dragged Shane along, and um, he recognised me even though he didn't know me. So it's that connection of different lifetimes, isn't it? Um, some people will they will think you're crazy when you speak of this. I know, I know, but yeah. they, they, they've all got it, haven't they? They've all got that inner knowing. They need to just allow it to surface and to use it, really. And I think it's happening more and more now. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. We, we feel that more people connecting there's more a lot of people seem to be getting in touch with me about they're being drawn to wanting to learn about healing or they've been doing it in a certain way for a long time but they want to get all the knowledge consolidated so that they can go forward on a different pathway and um, things are changing very very rapidly 
So yeah. there's a lot of a lot of hope out there, Ingrid. Yeah. Definitely. I believe uh, about this with energies that are blocked. Like uh, that that is important to release. Yes, people it like. is. It yeah. is, yeah, and through through your healing as well, you'll understand about about energy when people are within a certain form of energy. They've got a lot of trauma underneath, a lot of emotions that they're holding on to. It blocks that flow of energy, and it blocks that creative process. Yeah, and and fear plays a huge part in blocking people doesn't it in stopping them to connect with the love within for, for themselves and for the divine flow of energy as well i think it's very interesting very yeah, yeah. fascinating and I think it's, more more, it's quite magical how you can sorry go on i, th I think it's uh, coming more and more about the, the energies that it is blocking um us yeah yeah i think um we've we've just got to keep putting the messages out there haven't we that they can work with their own energy um and let let things go treat the spirit as well as the physical energy mm. haven't they yeah. yeah um is there anything else you would like to say because i'm going to speak a little bit with shane as well yeah okay yeah. um no i think i think that's everything i need to say yeah <clears throat> but uh, we for, i forgot to ask you whereabouts you are um, in we're in northwest uh england which is lancashire um in between i'm in between blackpool and preston a place called kirkham and shane lives just outside blackpool don't you yeah okay yeah 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 <laughs> i'm not uh, i know something I, I have cousins who live in england so ah right right yeah i i come from ireland but i have a, a swedish father ah lovely lovely <laughs> i forgot a lot of my english though but um uh, i would like to speak something uh, some about uh shane how you work yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, I've, I've been, uh, I'm a, a trans medium healer and also I practice Reiki. Um, Anne uh, taught me uh, Reiki uh, a couple of years ago um, on one of the courses. Uh, that's, I found that invaluable. Um, so many things tie in uh, with mediumship. So the Reiki opens up so many other avenues for your connections, uh, brings a completely different dimension um to the mediumship work uh and obviously i've moved on and i've been i've been doing a lot of trance work as well um over the last couple of years with myself when i was a young young man growing up probably going back to the age of about as young as i can remember maybe about eight years old uh i grew up in a house um and i experienced lots of different energies uh i saw a lot things um some of it wasn't particularly pleasant really uh there was quite a bit of negative energy within this household uh and as a young person obviously all those years ago i had absolutely no idea of what it was or what i was experiencing um obviously now i'm a lot older a lot wiser and, and i know a lot more so i understand that if I was to encounter that kind of energy now, I would deal with that appropriately. But as a young boy, that was my first experience. And as I as I progressed, uh, I didn't really speak about um, my experiences because people didn't uh, back in those days. It was it was almost a, a taboo subject, something you don't talk about. Uh, but I've always experienced uh, had messages. Um, I, I hear, uh, I, I see spirit. Um, and it's just something that was always with me, but I didn't really particularly do anything with. Funnily enough, many, many years ago, probably 25 years ago, I went to see a medium. And I, I remember he sat and looked at me and he said, one day uh, you will be doing this yourself. And I said, no, 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 definitely not. No way. And he said, trust me, trust me. One day he said, you will be doing this yourself. And he was... 
he was correct, uh, and it's amazing. And and as Aaron spoke about before, I met I met her quite a few years ago at an event, and um, I knew as soon as I walked into the venue that I I knew this person. Mm-hmm. Um, I had that instant connection with her, and I, cause I can remember standing just staring at her, thinking, "Wow, this is amazing." And um, so we obviously got to know each other, and I went to to visit Anne, and she helped me. Um, to discover some of my talents and, and we've been able to progress over the years and it's been fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, it's important to work with the right people. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm, very, I'm very fortunate that I met Anne when I did and we go back to what you say about timing, about divine timing, you know, and, it, and it, when things are meant to be, they're meant to be. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't rush these things and, and suddenly they, they're there for you, you know. And that is, that is down to um, our guides helping us, just pushing us gently in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, and since I met Anne, we've, you know, we've progressed uh, and we've worked uh, very closely, um, you know, over the last few years. And it's, it's been amazing and an amazing journey, really, to... The trance work was something I, I'd never uh, thought about. I didn't really know anything about it particularly uh, until Anne mentioned it. And um, it's something that it's just happened very naturally. Mm. And uh, I really enjoy it. Mm. I, I'd never worked in trance either before Shane came to see me. So it, it was quite um, a steep learning curve for me as well, but it just worked it just seemed to fit really so it seemed uh, it was just yeah. very very natural and uh, very easy and um something that happened uh, I, I didn't i didn't overthink it i didn't um, pay it too much attention i just allowed it to happen mm-hmm. <laughs> how, how did it feel the first time the first time um well we we decided on a on a date and a time and we sat in the therapy room and and we had no idea what we were going to do, um, and I, we we just we we connected in a in in the usual way as as we would have our own routine, and it was incredible. Uh, I think our, on one of one of the first um, connections that we had, we we had uh, a lot of soldiers coming through from the World War, um, lots of information, and going back to. Uh, people being blocked uh, and needing assistance to to be able to move on Um, and and that was how the theme of the the first session went really and it was incredible because I had no idea what was going to happen and uh, it just unfolded. Mm. But but they they were coming through for healing Ingrid. Yeah. Yeah. From the second world war. Uh, Some from the first world war and then Later on, some from the Second World War. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the uh, spirits that had passed over yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I understand that. Um, <laughs> well, um, yeah. So they need healing as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On occasions, I mean, that's something that we, we learned and we were able to, in that moment, um, help with that process. And uh, the, the energy that we experienced... Um, was was amazing really mm. really really intense and uh, uh, a wonderful experience mm. so maybe you have met in, in one of those lives quite possibly yeah yeah i'm sure yeah, yeah. i'm sure we have yeah yeah because yeah. i was thinking a lot of people are i i think maybe a lot of spirits came through or after Second World War, I'm, I'm born 1965, and a lot of children were born then. Maybe a lot of them came back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, a lot of children were born 1965. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe a lot of them, yeah. Well, um, is it always the same uh, spirit that comes through when you do? Yeah, that? I, <clears throat> when I first uh, went to, to visit Anne all those years ago, yeah. I was very lucky that um, we did a, the first session we did, um, mm-hmm. it actually brought through my main guide, and um, he's called uh, Frederick Robinson, 
and um, he he came through very strongly, and uh, he, he gave lots of information um, about where he was from and what he was doing, etc. Uh, so that that gave me a, an amazing amazing start, uh, an amazing connection, and he's been with me ever ever since. Um, and what he's done is is he's brought different uh, characters, if you like, that oh. play. Uh, different different parts uh, when I'm doing the the mediumship and the trance work. Uh, one of one of the um, spirits that he brings through is a uh, called Ernest, and he he's been sort of pushed forward to be the spokesman, if you like. So he t- he tends to come <laughs> yeah. forward and uh, deliver a, a lot of the information that comes forward. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, but yes, yes, yeah. there can be there can be. Uh, varied uh, spirits that come through but I mm. tend to find it's either Frederick or Ernest that bring mm. spirit through and share that information mm. yeah I was thinking uh, it's different from medium to medium or trans medium do you speak with your own voice or is it a different voice or you're going yeah. to do it if it's uh, my my I uh, I don't I, t- I know it sounds funny to say but I don't tend to watch back um, or listen back to many many things that I do I don't know why no. um, but I believe that my voice uh, does change on occasions yeah, and my mannerisms change um, yeah. and my my facial expressions etc mm-hmm. I think I take on the characteristics of the person that is is coming through. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I'll confirm that. Yeah, <laughs> but you do it as well. I not not yet. No, I've been. Yeah. I've, I've, I think I've been quite close to it, but it's. Mm-hmm. Um, let Let's put it this way. I think they're working on it with me. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. when things are happening, and Shane's nodding his head. <laughs> no, so, maybe when you do healing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. When when I'm doing healing, I'm going into a, a different state mm. if you like uh, like an altered state pretty similar when i'm taking them into a trans meditation healing session mm. um because i witness a lot of changes i can mm. see quite a bit of elements of that person changing so i can see different people flowing through them if you if you like so yeah. that's in a different a different state an altered state mm. yeah fascinating yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Um, before uh, you will do the trance, is there anything I have missed or you would like to share? No, um, mm. apart from I think that the work that you know I've been doing and the experiences that I've had, um, all I can say is it's uh, it's 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 amazing, you know, and and people um, should really open up and uh, and try and experience these sensations and emotions that you get um when you do your connections because they really they do help with your everyday life mm. um, um you know they really do sort of ground you and, and help you and guide you um and it's uh, just a really positive experience mm. Mm. i think maybe in in england it's a bit easier than in sweden <laughs> you have come uh, further than here okay is it, it's so is, it still, is, it, is it still difficult for for people to express these thoughts and, and ideas? No, I, I think it, it's easier now. So more people are opening up. But um, it, there are people who, but I guess we're in England as well, who doesn't want this. Yeah. Mm. But um, the younger people are more open. I think um, some people, they expect too much. Yes. They have, uh, that one should come or that one should come and it should be like that or like that so yeah yeah, yeah. there's with, with any any of this kind of work uh, whether you're doing trance or you're doing a mediumship reading um you know you can't force it and and sometimes it just doesn't happen it's not meant to happen um you you can't really plan it you you can you can try and uh, have a, a bit of an overview and, and try and prepare for a reading for somebody, but um, it will be what it will be, and, mm-hmm. you, and you can't force it. And if people try to force it, it puts the block on it. Yeah, but I think maybe in, in Sweden, in England, you have been doing this for a longer time, 
haven't you? I, I think it's I think far more open now than it was, and, and people are um, are happier to talk about it and mm. look into it. Whereas you know, when, as I said before, when I was growing up, you would never have spoken about anything like that no. um, because people would have thought you were you were crazy. Mm. Yeah, but you have more churches for this, haven't you? The, the neither of us have ever embarked on going to a spiritualist church. No, no, no. You don't no. do that, no. No, neither, neither of us are, are, are ones to sort of joining things, conforming to. Well, I think we we just sort of tend to get on with it on yeah. our own, really. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I think there are lots of yeah, lots of places are. like yeah. that in, in in England that um, yeah. you know people can access, and there's lots more groups um, that are opening up with people that are helping to develop uh, yeah. people's skills. So yeah, it's, it's it's more widely available these days, I think. Yeah. Well, um, we hope uh, that maybe you can do this trance and show a little, <laughs> if you would wish to do it now. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I hope so. I can't guarantee anything, but... Um, no, we have, have to trust. If it's meaning to do be, it will be. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, um, like I said before, sometimes uh, it takes a few minutes and sometimes it's, uh, the, it, the connection happens sooner. So we'll just yeah. have, to, have to see how it goes to, this evening. Yes, okay, we will just sit and... Okay. Things are changing. People are changing. And the world around us is waiting to embrace change. The connections you see with uh, the spirit world are coming ever closer. The energy that is created and people are experiencing is growing on a daily basis. We've all been given an opportunity. We were given the gift. Each and every one of us has that gift and ability locked away. So as the spirit world joins and becomes ever closer, people are awakening, you see. Everyday people, as they go about their work, their daily routines, their lives. They're experiencing new thought patterns, new sensations, new emotions. Change is upon us, a new way, a new era, you see. This is needed. 
some of the decisions in life, they've caused so much turmoil in the world, so much devastation. Changed so many lives, destroyed so many lives. So as change, as it happens, as it comes forward, this is about uniting people, bringing them together, bringing back those simplistic ways helping them understand themselves, be comfortable. So many people in life, you see, they are surrounded with negative energy, an energy that uh, stops them from evolving, being themselves. Our job, you see, the unworld, the unseen world, is to help these people understand themselves. So our ability to communicate, help them understand, is growing ever stronger. It's time for people to believe in themselves, shed the trauma, the upset that their daily lives have thrown at them, realize their potential. It's about getting back to simplistic ways. Everything's so complicated. The world has changed in many ways, many positive, but also there's many areas, shall we say, that need addressing, looking at. So our job is to connect as people are awakening and join them together giving them opportunity, hope, peace. The new generations, the young ones, the children. A message I bring forward today is they need to be nurtured. They need to be looked after. So many of these wonderful technical advances within the world, they bring many opportunities, but they also bring many distractions. These need to be addressed as they are taking away the natural, the natural ability of our young people. changing their minds and thought patterns and stopping them from developing in a natural way. So whilst the advances are incredible, amazing, they bring a disadvantage with them too, something that must not be overlooked. They are our future, and we must protect and advise them. There are people all over the world, as we speak, experiencing new thought patterns, new energies, new ways of thinking. 
We're on the horizon of a wonderful new era. Well, that was nice to know, isn't it? A new, better era, maybe, is coming. Sorry, you have to. Yeah, you you've frozen a little bit there, Ingrid. <clears throat> yeah, I said it was a, a positive uh, message that it's a, a a new era coming. Yes. Yeah. yeah? De definitely. The, the guys that we're working with are, are very much in the in the forefront of change um, and amazing new times that we've got ahead of us that we're all moving towards now. But everything that's going on in the world is about people healing and letting go of the old ways of being, really, of the rushed lives of the disconnection to actually who they truly are it's about realigning themselves with a, with a new higher energy and allowing everything that's been failing them so far to actually be released and to be let go of yeah yeah so with so the whole world is working through a huge big healing process Mm -hmm. That is so. And uh, he was speaking about uh, negative energies that are affecting people. Yes, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And that's part of everything that's that's been going on around us for, for so long. We've had um, fear-based energy that's been projected mm -hmm. um, into the world um, and that we have got hold of that it's sort of been brought within um mm -hmm. the majority of people uh and when you work with fear fear is a lower vibration than than the loving energy mm -hmm. so working with fear has, has brought many of its own issues with mental health with physical health with people just not being connected with themselves and who they who they truly are and how they can be true to themselves as well to open up the, the energy and all that they can be within this world. Mm -hmm. So we're all capable of that. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, good to know uh, our negative sides, but people don't want to hear them. They only want to hear the positive, but we need to hear the negative. So yeah. Release them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's it's about acknowledging it, isn't it? Accepting yeah. it, um, but but knowing how how we can rise above it, really, isn't it? So it, I think that's the main clue within that that we don't have to unpack and live within the negative energy, do we? And, and yeah. stay there forever. <laughs> we can change. Yeah, you spoke about the children as well that they were the future. Can you hear yourself speaking or do you? No, um, most of the time when, I'm, when I've been doing trance, I, I can't really remember it. Um, yeah. So it, Anne has to uh, recap for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, could, I think I, I could see a little bit that your face got a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Like, did, do you see that? Um, mm. That his face gets a bit bigger. Yeah, it's a trance, or yeah, his face his face changes definitely, yeah. and um, when when we work together and we're in the my healing room down, which is downstairs, when we're in that room, um, yeah. it's they sort of impose their energy, um, how they dress, all sorts of things, how they look. I can mm -hmm. see um, a vision of that around and upon Shane. Um, mm. which, which is quite interesting, really, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think I could see a little bit change in your face. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You will see it maybe when you look at this video if you wish to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he watches it. I'll, maybe I'll you do like look that. Pardon? I'm not normally I don't normally like to look look at things back, but maybe I have to on this one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, it, I think it was a good message to the world, so um it was positive. Everything. Yeah. 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 And, and all, all this all these connections that people are having. Um, even people that have never experienced um, connection with spirit before, mm. coming open to it now, and as they do so, um, it's it's nothing to be uh, worried about or concerned about. It's a wonderful thing on a personal basis because it's giving people uh, a really clear overview mm. of their own lives mm. um, uh, and a, a real understanding of the, those things in their lives that maybe they, they know they need to change. Mm. Um, but it's doing it in, in a way that people can really relate to. Uh, so these connections that people have in with spirit are very, very important at the moment. Mm. I agree. Very, yeah. Mm. And, um, well, is there anything else you would like to say before we... No, just, just thank you very much for um, yeah. for asking yes. us to connect today and yeah. do this. And um, you're doing a wonderful job, Ingrid, and and it, what an incredible way to to um, you know help to to spread all this wonderful information from from different people all the way around the world. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. but um, I didn't know I was going to do this. So uh, everything is meant to be. Absolutely, yeah. It's and you, you've got Jonathan. You've got Jonathan to thank for, for for the work you're doing now. Yes, I'm very very grateful for him, I, and I actually I thank him every day <laughs> before bed. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's wonderful. He, he's a, he's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Um, mm. Have you spoke to him yourself? Not personally. No, no. I, I've seen um, Elaine and uh, in mm. in doing a trance with Jonathan uh, on on the internet and. Uh, it's uh, incredible stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it will be a good a good idea for Elaine to bring Jonathan through, for Shane to bring one of our guides through. Yeah. And to that do it. Would... Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I could do an <laughs> <a> interview <laughs> later with that. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yes, that would be nice. And uh, maybe it would like... Uh, be even more energy absolutely yeah it would be very very powerful i'm sure yeah. because all all the guys will be working together behind the scenes saying we need to bring them together and those together and that they're yeah. all working like that behind the scenes aren't they i can say that um speaking to jonathan it really changed my life it's amazing yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and when when you're working uh, in this in this field, uh, if you're delivering messages to people, um, yeah. and and you are able to help them in that way, and mm -hmm. and give them a a different way of thinking, maybe, or or you know, by bringing a message forward for them, yeah. it's uh, it's it's an honour. It's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Mm -hmm. But um, I think we will end here. But I would like to speak with you. With the camera off. Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Okay. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> so.